Hey guys, just wanted to give you a little update on Roman's school drop-off situation. So, last Thursday, no, last Wednesday was his day where he was really holding on to his seat and crying and did not want to get out of the car. Um, just off day. He hadn't done that before. He's usually really excited to go to school and so I just felt really bad for him. Um, I, I know I said this last week, but I'm going to say it again. I'm not worried about him getting bullied. He's in class with three-year-olds. Um, they don't, kids are kids. They don't see, I mean, kids at his age anyways, they don't see any different. They don't see Roman as having spina bifida. They don't see his, his ankle braces and think anything different. They just think he's a kid. And he's a very fun loving kid. He gets along with everybody. Um, he loves to play. He's a good share. You know, all those things. So I'm really not concerned that he is getting bullied by anybody. Um, his teachers included. I'm not worried about them. He is in class. Um, he has a teacher and then there's several paras and therapists who are in the classroom the whole time. So if anything was going on, somebody would see it. So I'm not concerned about anything like that. I just think that um, Romans 3 and these are a lot of big changes. He's never away from me, hardly ever. Um, on Sundays at church, that's the only times. So um, I think that he's starting to realize that this is his new normal every day he's going to school. Well, it's actually Monday through Thursday. But a big portion of his week, he's going to school, he's leaving me. And his teachers always say once he's inside, he's totally fine. So I'm not worried about him at all. Um, but on Thursday, he had another rough day getting out of the car. It wasn't as bad, but he still just was not having it. So then we had the weekend, and then Monday, he was out of school. So today's Tuesday, and um, he woke up this morning, and he was just kind of cranky, and um, he was saying he had a headache. Um, he just, I don't know, just was cranky this morning. Um, again, he's three. He's not always happy. He's not always smiling like a lot of you guys tend to think. Um, he is a typical three-year-old. So um, he was saying his head was hurting and any time a kid with a shunt or anybody with a shunt has a headache, that can definitely be cause for concern. Um, so anytime he has a headache, we take it very seriously um, and we make sure that he's okay. So we had him drink some water. Adam gave him a gave him an adjustment and he seemed fine after that. Um, I was really considering keeping him home from school today, sorry, um, because of how cranky he was and the headache and him missing school, you know, so many days in a row. I just didn't know how drop off was going to go and I was, uh, I was honestly a little bit nervous. So I was like, I'm just going to keep him home. I don't want to, I don't know about his headache and I don't know what's going on. Well, after he got adjusted, he ate breakfast, he drank some water, he seemed totally fine. And he told Adam that he was excited to go to school. So I was like, okay, well, I guess he's going to school today. So we went to take him to school and um, he started his whining and I could tell it wasn't going to be good at drop off. So I bribed him and I said, if you're really good at drop off, you don't cry, I'll give you a sucker and a green sucker, your favorite sucker. So we went to Home Depot, we got him a sucker. And when I say we, I mean me. <laughs> so I went to Home Depot, I got him his favorite sucker. He made, he wanted to make sure that I got Gracie and Leighton a sucker too, so I got them a sucker also. Um, and he got out of the car today and did not cry at all. So um, that again reassures me that there's nothing going on, he's just, Sometimes when you're three, you want things to go exactly your way. And when they don't, you're not very happy about it. So, I don't know. Adam ordered some organic lollipops off of Amazon. And they're much smaller. So, we, you know, if we have to give him a sucker every day after school to get him to through this little stage that he's growing through, then that's what we'll do. So, um, we'll see how he is when he comes out today. Um... I'm sure he's going to be just fine. He's going to tell me about what an amazing day he had. And, yeah, we'll go from there. He has a yellow one. Did you get your sucker? Yeah. 
Why'd you get that? Because. Because why? Because I wanted it. I know, but what? How did you earn it? Mommy got it. Because why? Because I wanted it. <laughs> because you didn't cry this morning? No. Yeah, you were such a big boy, weren't you? Yeah. And you had such a great day at school, didn't you? What's your idea? Um, let's let's call Daddy and scare him. You wanna call Daddy and scare him? Yeah. Well, we can't do that right now because he's at work. But you know what we can do? Yeah. Let's go into Costco and get the stuff Daddy needs for his office. Okay? No. Why? Because. Show everybody your green sucker. Is it yummy? Yeah. He asked what flavor it was, and I said, I think it's green apple. And he said, what'd you say? I don't know. He said, I think it's red apple. You think it tastes like a red apple? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's go into Costco. Taylor. I feel that. Did you like it? Yeah. Can you believe Costco already has their Christmas stuff out? Yeah. Is that cool? Can I buy a toy? <laughs> no. Yes. I want to buy a toy. These are Christmas toys. Let's do that game. What? Do they have any balls to throw them? No, they don't put those out because they don't want people taking them. What's gonna take it? have once, 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 once. Okay, bye guys. I love you.